I'm John Shane Halls, pioneer field agronomist in Northern Ohio. While much of the corn that's been planted so far this spring in Northern Ohio was planted in pretty ideal soil conditions, cool wet weather since planting has slowed development and led to some questions about the establishing crop. While the crop still looks pretty good at the moment, there are some things to watch for as this crop emerges, and in this video, I'll share some tips for evaluating corn fields early this season. In a perfect world, all seeds in a field would emerge at the exact same time. However, due to natural variability, this never occurs. We generally think that uniformity of emergence is good when all plants emerge within about 48 hours. However, corn growth is driven by growing degree units, or GDUs, not time. Under average conditions, 48 hours equates to about 25 GDUs. This spring, as below normal temperatures have persisted, the time for all plants to emerge may be longer than 48 hours, but keep in mind that if GDU accumulation during this time was slow, these plants will still be pretty uniform in growth stage. If major delays in emergence are noted, yield will be impacted. This graphic shows that the impacts of delayed emergence on final yield. As an example, when 25% of plants in a field are very late to emerge, a 10% reduction in yield is expected. When evaluating singulation, keep in mind that a skip has much greater impact on yield than a double or poor spacing, as growing plants are unable to fully compensate for missing plants. If you find many skips in a row, dig to see if a seed was present and suffered injury prior to emergence, or if no seed was present. If plant growth seems very uneven, check below the soil surface for evidence of cold injury, insect feeding, or other issues. Asiatic garden beetles are present in many of the sandier fields again this spring. Finally, let's check population. In fields where flooding, ponding, or other damage has occurred, replanting may be necessary. Evaluating the health of plant roots and especially the growing point can give an indication of survival. It is good to check population in random spots in a field to get a sense for overall population. In 30 inch rows, measure about 17 and a half feet for one one thousandth of an acre and count the plants. I usually exclude plants that are very delayed in development. Multiply by 1,000 for population per acre. Based on existing population and planting date, this chart provides some estimates on average yield potential. Keep in mind the ear flex and growth habits factor into this as well. For example, big time flex hybrids like P1077AM need less population than more fixed eared products like P0574. The coming sun and heat will get this crop growing rapidly. As you evaluate your fields, let us know what questions or concerns you have. Thanks for watching. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.